They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense King Harold King's Club Casino I would prefer to be playing a single zero wheel because this is going to be a high roller but I'm gonna go ahead and play it with double zero wheel even though I'm in Vegas and I can go right back in that high limit room and I can play single zero wheel. I'm gonna play double zero wheel because the uh, kingdom is here to see it and because Angel has asked me to do it. I've got $20,000 and I'm gonna play against the tower. You see the, um, I'm gonna play $50, uh, $50 uh, entry bet. You see the red 19 on the bottom. I'm gonna go straight up, to, straight up the wheel so you'll know ahead of time what we're going to do. So and what you're buying? Uh, 20000 And so what would be, what are you, what's your goal to win? Well, you're going to tell me while we're there. Because it's going to be, uh, I want to win 6% off of 20000 Because I'm going to be like a uh, day trader. Oh. So 20000 uh, what is 6% of 20000 10% is 2000 so $200, $1,200. So we're going to make $1,200 a day. We're going to make $1,200 a day for the rest of our life. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We got $20,000 and we're betting 50, 50 well I'm going to try to anyway. We're going to bet $50 on black against that uh, red 19. Here we go. We have $20,000. we are going for a $1,200 win and we're playing Martingale. Uh, $50 and now we're going to be on red for a little while. We're Someone going did to, mention, can, can you um, dial and bear the red and black? It's not a good thing to do. I did answer that uh, question. You can, you can dial and bear it, but the problem with dial and bearing is you got to win two in a row. You always have to end up winning two in a row, and when you push yourself toward two in a row, there could be a time that you don't do it, and if you don't do it, you lose your money. We're trying to make winning every day. Every single day we want to win, and so that's the kind of thing I'm trying to put out there. You definitely can dial and bear it. There, is, there are ways to do it. Um, but you're going to have to eventually you're going to have to win uh, two in a row and I would rather you not be faced with that if it's going to cause you to lose your bankroll. I want you to win your money. I want you to win it every day. And we'll see how this goes. That's a hundred dollar loss. We're going to go two hundred dollars on red. We got a twenty thousand dollar buy-in. We're going for twelve hundred dollar profit. Six percent like a day trader. And we're going against the wheel we got fifty dollars on red now against the black 17 you can see it on the bottom of the tower that's the way we're going to go now we got 50 on black now we're going to have a series of reds we got 50 on red because we're going to play against the tower no matter what there are times that i would want to deviate this thing if the tower comes up in an odd looking way but we'll talk about that later that's an audible that we will talk about later we have a hundred dollars on red against that black that's on the bottom of the tower now we're going to 200 on red third straight red bet and the third straight black result. We don't care about that. We're going to black for four hundred dollars against that red thirty-two. And see, we didn't care about how many blacks there were in a row. We're not predicting anything. We're playing what it says. There's fifty dollars in red against the black twenty-nine. Now we're going to have a series of black bets against these. We've got three reds on the bottom. The first one is red seven that we're going against with a $50 black bet. Escalating to a $100 black bet against the red 27. So that was a $100 win. So now we got $50 on black against the red 25. Going. Each number is replaced. Look at there. Oh my goodness. We got five straight black numbers, Angel. What in the world? We're going to play red. Yields a black 10. Gives us a $100 bet on red. The 
wheel can yield anything. You don't know what's coming out of this thing. We win that one, so we go to a $50 red bet. We'll lose that one, so we go to a $100 red bet. And the final in this sequence against that black 20 is a red bet for $50, and we're going to switch over. So now we got a black bet for a hundred. And we're gonna have a black bet for two hundred. We have a red bet for four hundred. Then we have a red bet for 50. And a red bet for 100. A black bet for 50. And we've got a little chop going here, so we've got a $50 red bet. Switching back and forth, just doing what the tower says on that bottom number. We've got $100 on red, I mean on black here, because we're going against the red 36. $100 bet on black. Switch back over to red for 50 Then we go black for 50. You see that double zero coming up. On the double zero on the wheel, you see red on one side and the other. So on a double zero wheel, you can pretend that the double zero is a black. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to bet red $50 pretending that the double zero is a black. Because if it were alternating colors, zero would be red and double zero would be black. On the single zero wheel, you can't do this because it's a different color on either side of it. But on the double zero wheel, there are colors on either side of the double zero and on the single zero. So we're going to pretend that it's black. So we're going to put $50 on red going against the double zero, which ordinary, ordinarily would be a black number. And there's a red win. So now we go $50 on black because of the red 30. We go to $100 on red against the black 28. <clears throat> Switching back over $50 on black against the red 7. Now we've got a string of red numbers. First bet is $50 against the black 2. We're going to keep going with these red numbers now. Just repeat it against the black 13. Now we'll go to $100 on red. Now we'll go to a $200 bet on black against the red 14. Now we have a $400 bet we're going to go over to red with against the black number on the bottom of the wheel. Escalating $800 on black. Up the martingale. Now we go back to 50. $50 black against the red 
And then we're going to repeat that black bet against the red three. And there's your $1,200. There's your 6% day traders. You made $1,200 a day. Go home. Your $20,000 safe. Matter of fact, now it's $21,200. And you can come back tomorrow and do this same thing. Now, we did go up to the fifth bullet. The difference is we have eight of them on the $20,000 buy-in. And as you can see, the $1,200, it was only one time that we really escalated. So... Um, I, I've gotten some feedback saying that the tower replicates 20 times in a row. Well, you just saw it didn't even replicate. One time it replicated four. Um, I've not seen that. It doesn't mean it doesn't. It can't happen. It possibly could. We're trying to see will it happen. But I'm also uh, prepared for if we do come up with seeing nine straight blacks or nine straight reds, there are ways to go about it. I'm also have, I have developed now, I have fine-tuned the Baccarat to reflect this very this very uh, strategy right here, and I can show you how to do the Baccarat uh, so that it can do. It's been uh, a 99.9 .9 winner since I made the change with it, with this, uh, replicating this particular system to Baccarat uh, because there are no zeros of any type in Baccarat. You win or you lose, and you can be either side. There's a lot of advantages to it. I think um, uh, King Raymond Green and... Uh, and Jet Mac, and even and King Chuck Ritter. I think about all of you guys are out there doing some back ride now. The back ride does have a little bit higher buy-in. Sometimes it's that way, but I always come back to saying the same thing the Angel and I both say. The more money you can find, the better. If you're running to the casino with your last $200 for a few laughs and some fun, you can do that. But we teach professional play here. You need to raise a large bankroll so that you can do this as a profession. It's boring, I know. It's also profitable. Is it your side hustle or your profession, or is it your entertainment? If it's your entertainment, throw it on the eye block and have some fun. I'm all with you. I like fun, too. Well, it doesn't look like I do, but anyway. <laughs> um, so there it is for today on a $20,000 buy-in. How does a day trader make 6%? How does he make it every day for the rest of his life? We think we know how, and we think we're demonstrating it. Please like the session, comments, subscribe, join raise your level, support us. We appreciate you all very much. More so, we love you all. For the angel, the king, bid you adieu.